Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marco. Uh, in this uh, channel, I will share with you guys uh, a couple of uh, uh, tutorial about Nook, some really easy technique that I learn uh, during my work. I'm a visual effects artist and uh, a filmmaker uh, based in New York City. So, um, I first of all, I wanna thank everyone to keep subscribing to my channel, to keep uh, looking up on my video. I really appreciate it, and uh, I will definitely upload more tutorial in English soon. Okay, in this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, clean up a green screen from uh, tracker marks. This is a really easy and uh, quick uh, technique that I will show you, but it's also something really helpful. So usually uh, trackers mark uh, are used, uh, uh, as you can see here, those uh, uh, little rectangles. Uh, you usually find them uh, uh, in a different color of the green screen, and uh, they're usually really helpful with the uh, um, glasses, uh, windows, cars, uh, and um, the most of the time I use also uh, when there is a camera movement so you can really blend uh, uh, your background into your foreground and give a really realistic uh, um, feel. So in this tutorial I will show you how to uh, clean up those trackers mark and um, as you can see, I downloaded this um, uh, green screen from uh, this uh, website called Hollywood Camera Works. Uh, you can find the links uh, down below. Uh, there are so many other examples. I remember that I chose this one for the Christmas holiday. And um, okay, um, as you can see, this is a really easy uh, camera movement. Of course, uh, there are gonna be so much uh, harder one, but you know this is the technique to start with. So you can import your tracker here, and uh, you can click Control Alt, and then uh, positioning your. As you can see, there is a plus sign. You can position your track in on your tracker mark, you can define the area and then also always remember to watch this little window uh, when you are working with the tracker it's really helpful to see where is your track tracking if it's always in the same point and then you start to track okay so the track looks pretty stable uh, it's also like just 70 frames so okay so uh, after that you have your track you will import uh, um, a roto paint so you can also just press P and um, so basically right now we are working on the transform of your roto paint and on the transform of your track as you can see and uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, connect the, all the transfer, translate information from your tracker to the translate information of your roto paint. So you can just click Command or Alt, and uh, you can connect this to uh, through an expression. As you can see, you will see like these green lines, but which means that you know they are connected and then uh, you start to work with your clone tool um, the clone tool is a, a really helpful tool uh, I hope you guys have used it before I usually put the um, opacity on uh, um, the heart the opacity yes on uh, 0 0.2 uh, I don't wanna, um, so you don't have to do a lot of changes if you have to change. And I put all frames uh, because in this case we will need all frames. So and then you start to uh, do your paint work. You start to clean up all the area, and uh, you will see that you know should be pretty. Uh, 
working pretty good. Okay. So um, now we only need to see if it's working with the track. And uh, let's just wait a second. Okay. Okay, seems like it's working pretty good. Another technique that you can actually use in this case and that I saw using from a lot of artists is uh, uh, the transform masked. So you can just import a transform masked uh, node. You connect it to your footage and then uh, you basically um, try to connect through the mask of your transform masked a roto so you connect through the mask and uh, you start to uh, create your roto shape in base of the shape of your uh, tracker mark usually tracker marks are plus sign uh, but it really depends on the production it can be any kind of sign and once that you have your uh, uh, roto shape, you click on your transform master and you just move the footage on the, on the direction that you need it. And then basically you're gonna replace in the roto shape with the same footage so you will not have the problem of regraining your footage or any other kind of pro problem. Um, in this case the track is really easy so you're not gonna have any problem and is actually working pretty well you can also add uh, a little um, feather to the edges uh, and uh, I mean those examples that I show you are technique that then you will have to change based on your needs so uh, basically uh, if you have a harder track uh, you're gonna have to tweak a little bit create keyframes and sometimes uh, you will have to also to paint manually sometimes when you know one of those techniques is not working but the most of the time this is a good point to start okay guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial uh, again my name is Marco and uh, in this channel I share some technique uh, some easy technique and quick tips uh, uh, with you guys uh, and see you to the next video. Bye!